Well, hello again. You are watching Brian Northmore Photography. It's my mission to inspire the photographic community by passing on my knowledge, passion and skills. I'm a photographic judge, lecturer and workshop leader based in South West England. You can subscribe anytime, press any of the subscribe buttons, watermark or my face at the end of the video. And don't forget the bell icon for the important updates. And please comment and thumbs up if you like the video. But most of all in this week's video a little experimenting and it's not shooting through rain covered glass. I want to spend more time out in the field, less time editing and in video production. So today I'm doing two of these things. Despite battling terrible weather, I'm going to set the tarp up and have a cup of coffee after shooting a seascape and edit it in Lightroom on my iPad. Well, I hope, so stay with me. If you're interested in other editing videos, you may like this one. I will share the link at the end. Okay, so we're, um, we're down on the beach now, but, um, but, but typically it started raining quite heavy again, so we might have to take some shelter in a minute from the rain and uh, see how we get on. Um, but basically, I, I hope you can hear all this because it's really quite noisy with the breaking waves. My idea um, was to do some slow shutter speed work and uh, try and sort of really smooth out the scene, go for some minimalist type images. But actually being down here now, and this is why I want to edit on location as well, so you don't lose that, that feeling of, of, of drama and being in the sea, is that there's a lot of energy in the waves. There's a lot of energy and power, and the waves are breaking, and it's all being stirred up, and it's quite a stormy sky in the background. So I think it's that that I want to try and capture. And to do that, I think I'm going to have to go for maybe a, a, a higher shutter speed than what I was originally planning. Like I said, it's starting to rain quite heavy, so um, it might be a case of we have to wait for a little bit and then uh, and then carry on again. But um, I'm going to look for some compositions anyway and work on some different ideas. And um, then when I can film again and get back to you guys, I'll um, show you my, my camera setup and what I've decided on the composition that I've worked on. Well guys, I think I may have just managed to have found my composition that I'm looking for. Um, the video quality might go downhill quite considerably because now I'm um, filming using the, the iPhone. Um, putting it in and out of my pocket in between heavy downpours and rain. It's not possible to get my own SLR out, it's just going to sit here and get completely soaked. So, um, basically, um, I don't think you've well, it didn't go so well from that point, it was just too much trying to shoot stills, vlog and keep the kit dry. So a quick explanation of what you're looking at. Eventually I found a composition that I liked where the river on my left led your eye down into the scene and the breaking waves. I was shooting on my Canon 5D Mark IV using the 24-105mm lens. I shot a range of apertures and shutter speed combinations which varied the effect of the moving water. I eventually settled on a quarter of a second at f16 at 27mm as the final focal length. Eventually I retreated to firmer ground, and to save myself from embarrassment, and you, the boredom of watching me fight with the tarp, I didn't attempt to film myself putting the final contraption up. Okay, so here I am at last, set up in the tarp, coming live to you, <laughs> live from the tarp. Um, yeah, it kind of works. It's not ideal, it's not brilliant, but you know, we're outside, we are sitting actually in the dry. Um, more importantly, I'm going about to put some coffee on, and uh, then I shall be able to edit some pictures. So, um, it, it's raining quite heavy, so it wasn't really right to sort of spend my time showing you guys how to put the tarp up and everything and what I did on that. So that, that's for another video later on, I think. But, um, you know, it, it's a fantastic place to be. And, uh, you know, you really wouldn't want a better, a, a, a better viewpoint. But I just sort of like spin the camera around and uh, show you where we are. You know, you, what, what more view do you want than that, to be perfectly honest? Uh, but there's been a few learning things from today's exercise so far of what I need to improve on and what I need to do to, to make this um, so that I can work more out in the field. It takes a bit of practice and uh, we're going to see how that goes. But it really is a fantastic place. I'm going to be able to sit here now, have a cup of coffee and uh, edit those photos and that's, uh, yeah, 
that's pretty good. So, first, first things first, coffee, then edit photos. Right, so, okay, I've got to hope this really, really is working. If it isn't working, um, then uh, you're going to have very little video to look at, not enough to go out. Now, if all's going well, in theory, you're able to now have a look at and see what I'm on the screen. So, I've imported the raw files that we want to look at, and uh, hang on, first, uh, first, first things first. So yes, hopefully on the screen now you can see the, um, the Lightroom iPad images which I'm holding. To get the ones down the bottom of the box. I'm just going to quickly click through um, these and see which ones I actually like the best. Some of them I'm just going to discard um, because they basically have people in them. It's the map of the side of what ones I think capture the images the way I find them. They get to start with the windows. Obviously some of them are way overexposed and they're not good. What I was actually trying to do is I, I wanted to actually have a situation where I could, um, I was thinking black and white at the time. So we're going to have a quick look at some of the settings in here. And I haven't done this before, so you might have to bear with me. In fact, I might jump through a bunch of it. So we're going to go to uh, start with start with
just right to make it feel good on it. Actually, I think that's going to um, that's going to be it. I'll um, put the image up, final image up here on the screen later on, so you can see what I've done. Um, this is really a, a trial run for me to see if this is a way forward in the future. And uh, yeah, I think it probably is. I think it's been reasonably successful. So um, it doesn't really leave anything. First of all, before I go, I just need to apologise for the audio quality this week. Um, to be honest, I had everything stacked against me, really. I had wind, rain, um, crashing waves, and everything you could think of. So um, apologies for that. I'll have to give it some um, thought how I'm going to deal with those conditions um, better next time. But for now, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Help me out and subscribe. Don't forget the bell icon and give a thumbs up or a thumbs down and obviously please comment below. Most of all, enjoy your photography, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.